Homeports is a 501c3 nonprofit organization in Chestertown that uh, provides community for people uh, 55 uh, plus, and it's a membership organization, and we do our very best to keep people uh, independent for as long as they can possibly remain in their homes. What makes the phone ring for uh, home ports is transportation. Transportation is a big issue in Kent County, so with our membership, we are able to provide them, the members, with five rides a month. And it can be anywhere in Kent County, um, but it is Kent County. I mean, a lot of it is medically related, but if somebody wants to go grocery shopping or go visit their brother or get their hair done or go visit a lawyer, we'll take them wherever they need to go. It's we try to, you know, it's not all about health and wellness. Generally, they make a phone call, a family member or the member themselves will make a phone call. They'll call into home ports. We have an office in the town hall. They call into home ports. I get a message. It gets forwarded to me. I happen to be a nurse, and so I will go out and meet with them and do an assessment, talk to them a little bit about the services we offer, and then make a determination what it is we can do best for them. Often it's rides, but as you sit there and talk with someone, you can, you'll note other areas where they could possibly benefit from other services that we have. Right, right. Cell phones and TVs are, um, are, are number one on the complaint list. So if they get a smart TV and they have an old cell phone or they, have a, they get a new cell phone and maybe somebody at the store went over it with them but they really can't do it, we have a volunteer who is willing to go over and help them connect their phone and their TV or just even help them with their TV as they try to navigate and their phone. We're going to make a referral. We're going, we have um, organizations that we have made connections with that we make referrals to. It's, we can't do everything, but we have a retired lawyer on our board. We have a retired physician. Uh, questions can be answered. We can move them in a direction so that they can get the help they need. The Expo is uh, an event uh, held in the fall. It's been, I've been there now, this will be my third. But this is an, um, a fundraiser that we do, and the way it's done is it's done at the Y, and we, we um, have vendors, exhibitors, speakers. We provide information that would keep anyone within Kent County healthy, wealthy, and wise. Vendors, um, people who provide home care services, people who clean your gutters, uh, the corral, Organizations within the county that provide community and service for anyone who needs it. Uh, a lot of these things feed into your better mental health, which then helps you remain physical, physically healthy. Uh, uh, Shore Health has a group in, um, that is part of the hospital, and they will be there and they will be taking blood pressures. They will be answering um, minor medical questions and moving, again, moving them in, a, in the direction of their primary care or whatever other services they need. The Health Expo um, has been extremely popular. We attract over 300 people visiting and generally 50 to 60 exhibitors. So it's a great day and it's October 17th from 3 till 7. And another, another piece that, that might be helpful too is that if somebody just has a question and they may not need the services or it might be about a neighbor, it might be about a cousin, that would be, they can always just call in. They can talk to Jeanette, she's the executive director, and she will give them, a, she will help them uh, navigate in a direction that they can get some more information. Nobody wants to really ask for help, and they want to push it until they, are, they hit the wall. And once they've hit the wall, then they need the help yesterday. It's way smarter to be proactive. Get the information you need or get the information that you might need. You may never tap into it, but at least you have a connection. You've made a phone call. You know what the organization is about.